I live in Toronto. I grew up on a farm just outside Rodney, Ontario, uh, but I moved to Toronto after I graduated from university and I've been here ever since. I currently work as um, a freelance writer and um, I've been doing that in um, a variety of ways. So I've published three children's books. Um, I have worked as a freelance editor and I've also worked in corporate communications. And most recently, I've been working as a travel writer, um, which is kind of complicated because at the time we're filming this, uh, we're in COVID-19, so I'm not doing any traveling or um, writing about it. And uh, I'm curious to see what comes next for me. I was a camper from, I think, 1973 to 76. And then I was um, a CIT the following year. And then I was on staff as a counselor for the following three years, so 78 to 80. So you've asked me to give you one word to describe my time at Pierce Williams, and I'm gonna cheat a bit and give you two, and that's role model. So as a camper, um, I would go to camp and um, I loved my counselors and I looked up to them and I didn't realize at the time how they were being role models for me. And so, um, you know, I would see them working through difficult situations like maybe a conflict between campers and without even realizing it, I would learn from that. So then when I went on to uh, be on staff myself, I realized that I was going to be a role model too. And that's, um, that's, that's a lot for a teenager to think about. And trying to live up to that every day in front of the campers and in front of the other staff um, was something that really helped me grow and I think become the person I am today. And in fact, the idea of um, role models uh, doesn't stop there. You know, I loved camp so, so much. And it was so formative when I was growing up that when I became an adult, um, my husband and I sent our daughters to camp, um, to church camp. Now, we live in Toronto, uh, so they went to Camp Big Canoe, which is just north of Toronto. But uh, from the time they were eight, um, uh, they they went for years as campers and they both then joined staff and eventually became assistant directors. And something I loved was that every year when we would pick them up, either at the end of the session or at the end of the summer, um, and it didn't matter whether they were eight or whether they were 20 and coming back from, you know, working as an assistant director, I could see how they had grown. And, you know, when they were campers, I knew that was a result of um, them having role models and watching the counselors and how they behaved. And when they were on staff, I knew that came from them being role models themselves. And um, I loved to see that. And um, I guess I hope that if someday they have kids, that their kids love camp too. So my favorite camp song is Pass It On. Um, and it's interesting that you ask that because we sang it at church just a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, it's like, it brings back all the memories of campfire and, uh, you know, quietly singing that song and then going away back to our cabins. And as I was sitting in church singing it, I could almost smell the campfire and hear the logs crackling as they burned. So um, I graduated from Western uh, with a degree in economics. And then after working for a couple of years, I went back to Western to get my MBA. And uh, then I went into banking and I worked in banking for 10 years. And I left that so I could have more time to spend with my kids and also so I could focus on my writing career. My favorite places at Pierce Williams were um, Wilderness Camp and Vespers Point and Campfire. But when I think about my best memories of camp, they're all about the friendships. 
So as a camper, I remember um, I would go each summer and I'd be so excited to um, uh, see the kids again that I connected with the previous year and to make new friends and, and you know, for, for a week or however long I was at camp. That was incredibly important. And I remember we all made friendship bracelets. And at the end of the week, we'd exchange them with our friends so we wouldn't forget each other over the winter. And so um, as a counselor and being on staff, um, for sure, friendships are my best memories. And, um, you know, I just like the people that I, I met and, and that I shared with and that I, I became friends with, it's the kind of deep friendship that you never forget. So, you know, we didn't exchange friendship bracelets, but all these years later, I don't need a friendship bracelet to remember them and, and what they meant to me. When I was young, I was pretty shy. And uh, when I applied to be a CIT, I really wanted to do it because I loved camp so much. But I wasn't sure if it was for me. Like, I just didn't see myself as a leader because I was a very quiet person. And so one of the things we learned um, was about different leadership styles. And that was really, um, that was such an important thing for me to learn and recognize that I could be a leader. And, um, you know, it's still like, I still don't have the loudest voice in the room and I still don't, uh, you know, I, I may not talk the most, but I have my own leadership style. And learning that as a, a 13 year old or a 14 year old or a 15 year old was, um, it's really critical in how I learned to see myself and how I learned that I could be a leader too. The best advice I've ever received is be brave and be kind. And um, that's lyrics from a song by The National. It's very simple, but that's how I want to live my life. Be brave and be kind. So a couple of books come to mind. Um, one is The Dutch House by Anne Patchett, which I read earlier this year and loved. And another one is a book that I've just picked up. I've, I'm just like on the first chapter. It's called Redhead by the Side of the Road by Anne Tyler. And I know I'm kind of going out on a limb recommending something I haven't actually read. But uh, both of those authors, I, I think you could pick up any book by them and it would it would reliably be excellent. actually going to give you three names. Um, uh, the first one is Catherine Gao. And Catherine is someone that I went to high school with. Um, but I got to know her better since we were CITs together. And Catherine was um, really insightful and intelligent and thoughtful. And getting to know her better on staff was uh, such a privilege. I love getting to know her better. And um, I would love to hear how she answers these questions. Um, the second person that comes to mind is Kelly Brearley. Uh, Kelly was a year older than me. She was the heart and soul of Pierce Williams when I was there. She was one of the funniest people I ever met, but she was also one of the kind kindest. So um, she was very inclusive, uh, really funny, which you knew when you were with Kelly, you were going to have a great time. So I'd love to hear from her. And the third person is Sheila Carroll. And when I was a first year counselor, um, I don't know how the cabins are set up now, but back in those days, um, the, uh, there'd be co-counselors and we would share a space between uh, the cabin on either side. So the very first year, the very first week that I was counseling, Sheila was my co-counselor and she was, um, she's incredibly creative and artistic, uh, but she's also a very kind, patient person. And I'm sure I had lots of questions for her and I know I would have been nervous. And Sheila just made me feel so great about being a counselor. She made me feel like I could do it. And I did. So I would love to hear from Sheila and hear about her memories of camp.
Being at Pierce Williams was a formative time for me, both as a camper and when I was on staff. Um, and the things I learned and the experiences I shared were something uh, that I didn't experience anywhere else. You know, I had a wonderful family, a great extended family. Um, I had a good experience at school. I had great friends. But for me, there was nothing quite like camp. And I loved Pierce Williams. And I think for, um, you know, to be able to, to go there as a camper and learn from the counselors and other people on staff um, who are your role models is a wonderful thing. And then to get to go on and be staff there and be a role model, you just don't get that in a lot of other places. Um, you know, one of the reasons I encouraged my daughters to work at camp was because I like I just don't think you get anything else like that. You know, you can you can work in retail, you can there are so many other jobs, but there's nothing else like camp to to teach you leadership and responsibility and empathy and uh, cooperation. And there's just so much you can learn. And um, I continue to support camps financially and um, I, I would just encourage everyone else to do so. Yeah!